Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and in this video I'm going to talk about RH blood groups and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answer and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answers with my answers and explanations. So here is the first question. When a fetus blood is agglutinated by its mother's RH antibodies, the severe anemia that result is called and here is the three answers to choose from. Answer A. Immunization. Answer B. Ectopic pregnancy. Answer C. Erythroblastosis fetalis. So, actually, fetus blood agglutinated as a result of immunization of mother uh, by RH positive antigens so, that can be found on the red blood cells of the fetus. So, uh, because mother doesn't have these antigens or proteins, her immune system start to make antibodies that would kill these foreign proteins. So organism of the mother would behave the same way as if this would be proteins of the, for example, bacteria or virus. So uh, immune system just would produce antibodies that would kill red blood cells of the fetus. But this is not the correct answer, so we can cross out this answer. This is not the name of the disease. And answer B, ectopic pregnancy, may happen when fertilized egg cell would attach anywhere except uh, uterus. For example, fallopian tubes. So uh, such pregnancy we call ectopic pregnancy. And such pregnancy may be life risking for the mother health. So we can cross out this answer also. And answer C, erythroblastosis fetalis, this is exactly the uh, name of this disease. When antibodies produced by mother's organism attack and kill um, antigens or uh, red blood cells of the fetus. So correct answer, answer C. And next question, which of the following are true of mother fetus RH incompatibility problems? And answer A, they can be prevented by injecting RH or GAM into the mother's blood system. B, they are much less likely to occur during the first pregnancy compared to the later pregnancies. Answer C, medical treatment can be nearly 100% effective in preventing such problems and answer D all of the above. So let's go over each question once again. Uh, answer A they can be prevented by injecting RH0 or O G A M into the mother's blood system and this is uh, this abbreviation uh, stands for the uh, antibodies and these antibodies would be produced by people who is uh, Rh negative, that means uh, who is homozygous negative, and uh, so genotype would be uh, Rh uh, minus Rh minus, and when such a person would get a little bit of uh, blood of Rh positive person, uh, immune system of such person would start to produce uh, antibodies. And uh, if we will take these antibodies and would inject into the um, blood system of the pregnant female who is uh, Rh negative but uh, whose child can be uh, Rh positive, so genotype can be uh, negative and positive, so heterozygous or positive, positive for both alleles, so in such case pregnant female would have uh, antibodies that would kill uh, antigens or red blood cells of the uh, fetus if uh, such uh, uh, blood cells would penetrate mother's blood system. But what is important that uh, uh, if I draw a line here, so this would be mother side on the left and uh, fetus side, uh, two variants on the right. So if uh, such um, antigens would penetrate in her blood system, 
uh, antibodies that already uh, were injected in uh, blood system of the mother would kill such uh, antigens, but uh, immune system of the mother wouldn't be triggered because uh, antibodies is already were injected in her blood system and small quantities of these antigens from fetus would be uh, eliminated by this long uh, lasting antibodies in uh, blood system of the mother so mother wouldn't become synthesized for these uh, antigens so uh, prospective mother would uh, be given a shot of such antibodies during her first uh, weeks and months of the pregnancy of course only those uh, women would get such a shot who is uh, rh negative and uh, this would prevent uh, her uh, immune system to react and produce her own antibodies and the second shot she would get after the delivery right after the delivery because uh, during delivery um, small quantities of the blood of the fetus may also get in the blood system of the mother so uh, in such immunization we prevent that when uh, this woman would uh, be pregnant with second child that her immune system would kill red blood cells of her heterozygous or homozygous RH positive fetus. So uh, this is correct answer and answer B they are much less likely to occur during the first pregnancy compared to later pregnancies and as I already explained it Yes, such a sensitization usually happens during first pregnancy or after delivery and second pregnancy usually uh, in danger of being rejected by uh, immune system of the mother if, uh, of course, fetus would be RH positive. So this is also correct answer and we can circle it. And answer C, medical treatment can be nearly 100% effective in preventing such problems. And I would say that uh, medical treatment is 99% is uh, effective in preventing such problems, especially taking into account uh, such special immunization uh, programs that I described before. So this is also correct answer, and that means that all of the above would be our choice. So, correct answer would be D, all of the above. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.